do and share names again someday. Um, oh, there you go. This is, um, oh, Mama, oh, wait, I meant to mention, excuse me, Meg, let's have a seat, please. Wait, Mama, you didn't say your name and you didn't say oh. what you want. Okay. okay, okay, should I say my name? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I will be um, Jojo then. This is your Pluto and your Pluto, yeah? Okay. Can I be Jojo? Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. then I will be in grass school. Do they like you to wear a grass sweater? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, okay, okay. Um, so what I wanted to mention, though, is that Chloe oh, for um, grades K through fourth grade, but we welcome I'm in fourth. We welcome anyone that um, Maggie the I'm in TK. Right Maggie's in TK. And, and I love TK. Miss call my teacher. Right? Oh, I know. Ah. You love your TK. Yeah. Yes, but we, and you know any grade that you're in, we're so glad that you're here, and um, I hope you enjoy. And Sorry guys. We're okay. Business. There we go. All right. Phew. Technical difficulties. I think we're back. Yeah. Can you see us? I don't know. Can they answer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're back. You think we're back? We're good now. All right. I... Because we forgot something. Listen, Maggie. Listen, I knew we forgot something. Oh, the sorry song. The sorry song. That's right. Have a seat so we can sing the sorry Mommy, song. Yeah. was standing with oh, two of his followers. No, it's two of his followers. With two of his followers. Okay, 
Jesus, Jesus, are you standing? Well, John the Baptist was standing with his followers, right? <laughs>
So, John the Baptist called Jesus the Lamb of God. Um, and why, why, did, why did Jesus die for us? Because he wanted us to be happy. And because he loves us, right? Yes, we can't forget that. That's a really, that's a, so that's a big statement by John the Baptist, right? But what else did John say to do? What else did he tell the two followers to do? Here they were, they had just finished up the baptism, right? And there were two, two people that were, you know, really hanging out with John the Baptist and digging what he had to say, right? Yeah, what did John tell them to do? Uh, Represented by the two lovely guinea pigs, yes? Uh, to follow. <laughs> to follow who? Jesus. To follow Jesus. Or the one in the corn. To follow Jesus, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, did they? Yeah. Yeah, did they ask they any questions? They wanted to know where he lived. <laughs> they said, hey, yeah, we want to follow you. John the Baptist is telling you to follow you, that you're the Lamb of God. We're in. Now, did they ask any other questions about, um, I don't know, can I go and uh, finish my my Xbox game first, my video game? Can I go and can I finish that first? Or can I just go and grab, you know, like a bunch of like fancy shoes, you know, because for the journey? Would that, would that be okay? Did they ask anything like that? Mm-mm. No. No, they didn't. No, they had. Instead, they said, yeah, okay, where do you live? We're in. We're following you. Yeah. And do you happen to know that one of those two that followed Jesus became one of his apostles? Andrew. Andrew. That's right. Yes. Andrew was so excited about this. He ran home and told his brother, Simon Peter, about Jesus and recruited him to come and follow Jesus too. Yeah, that turned out to be a pretty important person, right? Is that Simon Peter? <laughs> but all the disciples were, and all the apostles were. Um, but Andrew was the first. So this is the first time we actually hear about and Andrew and his Andrew. and his ability, his ability to. No, it's not all I know, Andrew. I know you guys have an uncle <laughs> Andrew. So, um, so yeah, that's a special saint for us, right? Um, so Andrew, you are portrayed as a guinea pig today. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and we love you. Although, although um, Uncle Andrew, you you look like a swamp. You're a swamp. Okay. Okay. All right. Anyway. 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 So, um, so Andrew just follows Jesus. Just follows him, right? Which is such a beautiful thing, and that's what Jesus asks us to do. So, so the activity at home. You are going to play. I'm going to explain what this was. Yeah. Go okay. for it. You okay. are going to play follow the leader with someone at your house. Now, you could just like play with your whole family and have someone be the leader. But what we were thinking was for like 10 minutes, you could follow them around the house and do exactly what they do. Kind of like follow the leader. But if they need help with anything, then you have to help them if they do that thing within those 10 minutes. And you... You can do it for longer. Um, it doesn't matter how long you do it, but 10 minutes is probably the minimum. I mean, you don't need to, but like we were thinking about 10 minutes would be good. Um, yeah. So then you can like switch for another 10 minutes or something like that. So that's our activity for today. We will be playing what? follow the leader in a more do helpful it. way. And what? do you have any guinea pigs that could oh. follow? Yes, yes. In yes, wagons? Yes. Yes. By all means. <laughs> you can involve anyone you like. <laughs> but yeah, the whole idea is um, to learn a little bit. Wagon, so. Think a little bit. Giraffes and wagons. Sure. <laughs> is to think about think about it while you're doing it. Is this is this easy to follow someone? Maybe at first it is, but after a few minutes, is it easy to follow someone? Or you know, do you start to ask, why am I doing this? Right? Or I'd rather really be doing something else, or why can't they follow me? Yeah, so pay attention to how you feel, and then picture yourself <laughs> as some of Jesus' followers, Jesus' followers. And then by the end of it, I want you to think, hmm, Jesus is asking me to be his follower. So, what am I going to do to help follow him this week? Okay? All right, that's all we've got this week. Maggie, do you want to lead?